Welcome back to 8482 Media. Today, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to add transitions to your timeline. So what you're going to want to do is be on the trim edit button mode. And you're going to click the end of the first clip and the beginning of the next clip. And then you're going to go all the way up to your timeline and then click on add transitions. Usually this won't pop up, but when it does, just click on trim clips. And now you have successfully added a transition to your timeline. So what you can also do is you can either decrease the duration of the clip or increase the duration of the clip. Let's actually check it out. There we go. So we have added the transition. There are two ways you can actually change the duration the way that I showed you and also by right clicking and then changing the transition duration. You can change it through the frames or you can change it through the time. We're going to cancel that. You can also change the style of the transition through the inspector. Now let's go to the inspector. We click on that on the top right corner and we're already in transitions. And now it gives you the options of what transition type and how to control that transition. So now let's actually go down to edge wipe. We're going to click on that and we can actually see the duration of it as well, the frames. And then we can also change the angle of it. So now that we're in edge wipe, we can actually change the duration in here as well, the frames and the seconds. And then we can also change the angle so we can see where it ends. We can also do the border. And then we can also choose if we want to feather it where the two clips actually mesh together like that. Resolve comes with a bunch of transition presets to use. So to access them, you're going to want to go to the top left corner where it says effects. And you can actually see the video transition. So we're going to click on that. And you can actually, instead of just clicking on it, you can actually preview just by hovering your key on it. So you can preview if you like the blur dissolve. You can preview if you like the cross dissolve. And same with all the rest of that transition options. If you guys like this video, please comment down below, leave a like, and thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.